Right, hey guys, Pencilface here, and this is a video on how to find diamonds. Some guy load up an old world here. Just keep on peaceful just now. In fact, I'll make it offline. Right, I'll load it up. And then, um, I've already got a mine made here. But this is um, more about how to make the mine. So I'll just go down there. Right, this mine isn't that big, but um, basically the idea of this is to cover a massive area by only digging small veins down the side. So what you do is you make a main corridor down the, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, just a main corridor, but um, you can make it one wide, two wide, three wide, it doesn't really matter. Um, but well, first of all, before you do anything, you hit bedrock, and then you count 10 layers up. Each block is a layer. Bedrock obviously being level 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. So I'm standing on level 10 just now. So, this is level 10. And the reason why you do that is because the place where you're most likely to find diamonds is between levels 10 and 16, which is that one, or maybe the roof, I'm not sure. So I, I'm standing on 10, and you dig up as far as you can reach, so you can't reach anymore, to level 16, or 15, and then, um, so once you've done that, you make a corridor all the way down, doesn't matter how long it is, just however much you want to mine I suppose, and then every two blocks, one, two, you make another vine, the reason why you do this is, if you only made it one down, then you've already seen everything on this wall. So if you make it only one block wide, then you're not being as productive as possible. So you make it two wide, so that you're seeing everything on this wall, and a completely new side when you make a new vein. Because if you made it three wide, then you wouldn't see what's in the middle. So, two is just perfect. And then, you can mine down here as far as you want, but I might like to mine down 20. So it's 20 blocks all the way down. You do this with every vein, and then, just to make it neat and tidy, I suppose, you connect them up at the end. And then you can see what's on this big wall here. And then, I've actually went down quite far with this. Goes all the way down there. But, um, so uh, yeah, this is how you mine effectively, I suppose. And how you're maximising your chances to find diamonds. And, as you can see here, I've already found... 14 diamonds. I know I know you think 14 diamonds is, isn't a lot for this big mine, but I'm not actually done half of it. As you can see, these walls aren't mined out at all, and neither are these ones. So yeah. Um, and you also find a lot of coal and redstone and iron. So it's not just good for diamonds, also very good for uh, gold. And the lamp is lazuli. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I suppose. Uh, thanks for watching.